the Cold War was a period of intense geopolitical rivalry and nuclear brinkmanship between the United States and the Soviet Union, spanning roughly from the end of World War II in 1945 to the early 1990s. It was characterised by political, economic and military competition between these superpowers. While it never erupted into a direct armed confrontation between the two, there were numerous close calls, with the most well-known and harrowing being the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. One less well-known incident that would have arguably had far graver consequences was the incident involving the Soviet submarine B-59. This is the story of how a nuke was almost launched and how the critical role of Soviet nuclear protocol and the decision by one man averted a global catastrophe. The Cuban Missile Crisis The Cuban Missile Crisis was a pivotal moment in the Cold War. In October 1962, the United States discovered that the Soviet Union was secretly installing nuclear-armed missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles from American shores. The revelation sparked a tense standoff between the two superpowers, and the world watched in fear as the crisis unfolded. President John F. Kennedy demanded the removal of the missiles, and the world held its breath, fearing that this confrontation might lead to nuclear war. In the lead-up to the incident, the United States implemented a naval blockade of Cuba, this escalated tensions further, as President John F. Kennedy ordered a quarantine of Cuba to prevent the delivery of additional offensive weapons. The US Navy deployed a ring of warships, effectively blockading the island. This naval blockade was a critical component of the crisis, highlighting the resolve of the US to protect its interests and prevent the escalation of nuclear tensions with the Soviet Union. The blockade, however, did little to prevent Soviet submarines, which frequently passed through the blockade undetected and continued to operate almost unrestricted. It is also worth mentioning the standard procedures for the submarines during this period. Soviet nuclear protocol during the Cold War was a complex and secretive system of command and control. The Soviet Union maintained a no first use policy, meaning they pledged not to initiate a nuclear conflict but reserved the right to retaliate with overwhelming force if attacked. This principle was central to their nuclear doctrine. The Soviet military, including the submariners on board vessels like the B-59, followed strict protocols for the use of nuclear weapons. Authorization to launch required unanimous agreement among the submarine's commanding officers, the captain, the political officer and the second in command. This three-tier system was intended to prevent accidental or unauthorised use of nuclear arms. With the stage set, the stakes couldn't have been higher, and with all the factors now in play, an incident was bound to happen. The Incident As was standard procedure during the crisis, B-59, the Soviet submarine, was patrolling off the coast of Cuba. The submarine had lost contact with Moscow due to communication problems, leaving its crew unaware of the rapidly escalating crisis above the surface. In an attempt to scare off the submarine and prevent it from operating in the area, the United States Navy began dropping practice depth charges near the submerged submarine. A dangerous set of circumstances had come into play on board the tense atmosphere in the submarine. As the Americans were unaware of the extreme situation of lost communication on board. The Soviets, believing that they had informed the crew of the submarine that the depth charges were duds and just practice, were unaware that their messages weren't being received, and therefore the crew of the sub interpreted these actions as a genuine attack, causing panic and heightened tensions on board. Believing an attack had already begun, the commanders on the submarine had to decide whether to respond or not. Captain Valentin Savitsky, the submarine's commander, and the political officer, Ivan Semonovich Maslenikov, were in favour of launching a nuclear torpedo in self-defence, believing that war had already broken out. However, second-in-command, Vasily Arkhipov, disagreed. His dissent was crucial because, due to Soviet protocol, a unanimous decision was required to launch the nuclear weapon. In a confined and stressful environment, these three officers had to make a life or death decision 
with global ramifications. Arkhipov's descent was the pivotal factor in preventing nuclear escalation. The submarine surfaced and communication with Moscow was restored, revealing the true state of affairs. It became clear that the world had come perilously close to a full-scale nuclear conflict. Potential Consequences There are many possibilities as to how the situation could have panned out had the torpedo been launched. A more conservative response may have gone as such. Initially, the US would likely have sought immediate communication with Soviet authorities, both through established diplomatic channels and through back-channel communication. The goal would be to ascertain the intentions of the Soviet Union, confirm the attack, and potentially seek to avoid further escalation. Defensive measures may have been put in place, such as activating missile defence systems and civil defence measures to mitigate the potential damage of a nuclear explosion. These might include warning sirens, fallout shelters and the evacuation of key personnel. However, given the heightened tensions at the time, it was very likely that nuclear retaliation would have been the response, in which case the consequences would have been catastrophic. It would have likely triggered a nuclear exchange between the United States and the Soviet Union, with devastating effects on both nations and the world as a whole. The aftermath might have plunged the planet into a nuclear winter, causing mass destruction, severe climate disruption and the loss of countless lives. The Cuban Missile Crisis, and more precisely, the B-59 submarine incident, could have marked the end of civilization as we know it, with no winners in a nuclear war. Repercussions the B-59 submarine incident during the Cuban Missile Crisis serves as a stark reminder of how close the world came to nuclear Armageddon during the Cold War. This incident, shrouded in secrecy for decades, highlights the importance of communication, protocol and rational decision making in times of crisis involving nuclear weapons. After the crisis subsided, the legacy of the B-59 incident remained relatively unknown until its declassification underscores the fragility of human decision-making in situations of extreme stress and the importance of individuals who in a moment of crisis make the right choice to avert disaster. Vasily Arkhipov's descent on board B-59 saved the world from the horrors of a full-scale nuclear conflict. This near miss was a wake-up call for both superpowers, leading to a thaw in Cold War tensions and efforts to establish communication channels to prevent misunderstandings and miscalculations. This US-Soviet hotline, or Red Telephone, was established to facilitate direct communication between Washington and Moscow during crises, reducing the risk of misinterpretation. The B-59 incident serves as a poignant reminder of the potential consequences of nuclear brinkmanship and the need for diplomacy, communication, and rational decision-making to prevent global catastrophe. It underscores the responsibilities of nations and their leaders to prioritise dialogue and peaceful resolution of conflicts. It is a testament to the fact that, in the nuclear age, there can be no winners in a world consumed by the fires of atomic warfare. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like. And for more amazing tales and thrilling stories, don't forget to subscribe to Uncovered Secrets. Also, hit the bell icon to stay notified for every release.